Andy Stamis here with Medicare Mindset. Today's Ask Andy video focuses on the most common forms you might need related to your Medicare or Social Security enrollment. Here are the forms and how to access them. There are a bunch of Medicare and Social Security related forms available online. They're located at ssa.gov forms. Here's a quick view of the website. As you can see, there's a lot to sift through. If you don't find what you need right away, enter a part of the form name or form number in the search bar. Then you can click on the title and download the PDF version. Now let's get into the most common forms we deal with on a regular basis for our Medicare clients. Form CMS 40B is the application for Medicare Part B. This would only be required if you already have Part A and need to add Part B. This could be before age 65 due to disability or after age 65. Form CMS L564 is the request for employment information. This is an additional form that goes along with Form 40B mentioned above when adding Part B after your seven month initial enrollment period in Medicare has ended. It's called an SEP, or Special Enrollment Period, enrollment. We will link to our video on how to enroll Medicare after age 65 in the description below. Form SSA 44 is the income-related monthly adjustment amount life-changing event. This is the form to request a reduction of your high-income IRMA Medicare premiums when you have a life-changing event that reduces your income. We will also link to our video on how to appeal IRMA in the description below. Form CMS 1763 is the request for termination of Medicare Part A or Part B. Sometimes Medicare beneficiaries enroll in a part of Medicare and then realize later that was a mistake. For example, someone might disenroll from Part B because they are currently covered in a group health plan based on their active employment that is primary to Medicare. Additionally, Part B has a monthly cost, so it might not make financial sense to keep it in that situation. Form W-4-V is the Voluntary Tax Withholding Request. This is used when you want to have federal taxes withheld from your Social Security benefits. And then we have one final form that is located on the Medicare.gov website. It's called SF-5510 Authorization Agreement for Preauthorized Payments, also known as the Easy Pay form. This is for those who are not receiving Social Security benefits and prefer to pay their Medicare Part B premiums monthly via auto bank draft rather than a paper invoice every three months. The form, instructions, and all the different ways to pay Medicare premiums are detailed online at medicare.gov slash basics slash costs slash pay dash premiums. When you go to this page, you'll see everything you need to pay Medicare premiums as well as how to set up automatic payment. If you have a question, you can contact us by sending an email to info at medicaremindset.com or using the contact form on our website. Also, click the videos on your screen to watch more Ask Andy content.